This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our May 24th, 2022 regular city council meeting. And so the first item on that meeting next week is for the oath of office for the appointed council members. And that will be for John Alcantara, Thomas Ojala, and Joshua Tudor. And then we also have a couple items on the consent agenda. In addition to the minutes, there's the authorize the city manager to accept the estimate to upgrade the Palmer Public Library circulation desk to fulfill the pandemic modifications per federal ARPA grant application, so forth and so on. Anyway, that's in the packet for those that want to read it. We also have a couple of communication requests. Um, we have a presentation from the Matsu YMCA Advisory Board that will be presenting to the City Council. And then a presentation from the Scottish Highland Games. I suspect it might have to do with the games coming up next month, this year at the Palmer Fairgrounds. Those should be good. Also special items listed under reports is uh, there's a proclamation recognizing the People's Paper and Making the Scene magazine under the Mayor's Report. And then under the City Attorney's Report is the Open Meetings Act OMA Overview. My marriage report for May 24th, 2022 has a few different things I put into it. Uh, one is what I call the Palmer City Council basics. With uh, new members coming on the City Council, I thought I might go over a few of what I consider kind of basic things to, to remember and understand for being on the Palmer City Council. And the first one is that Palmer is a home rule city. Uh, and in, in our state of Alaska, there's three major types of cities. There's a second class city, there's a first class city, and there's a home rule city. Essentially, that means that that city has gone through and done a lot of work putting together a charter and ordinances that will function for the city. And it, it gives us a lot of freedom of how we do things um, because we have it already in code and it's spelled out. Another is an agenda. The meeting agenda is actually spelled out in our code. So there's a Palmer Municipal Code 2.04.110 and it lists the order of how things will work in our meetings. Uh, in a meeting, you know, it's it's kind of a customary thing. We, we use Robert's Rules of Order as kind of a default, but one of the main things to remember for council members is if you want to speak is to get the attention of the mayor, usually by saying Mr. Mayor, and that way if there's a, more than one person speaking at once, you know, I will try to um, identify who should speak next and go from there. Uh, another thing I try to keep in mind is I calculated out a while back that as one out of seven council members, that makes me 14% in charge, which is really a minority. It's a really small piece. And, but it's just a way to remind me there's six council members and one mayor that votes as a council member that each one of us doesn't have enough power to do anything with the city. We have to come to agreement. We have discussions. We decide things. But just trying to remind myself to, I, you know, as, as a regular council member, we don't speak for, for the city unless the city is already, if the council has decided on something. You know, we've maybe discussed it, we've made a proclamation, or we have done a, you know, a, a letter to somebody. Then, then if there's agreement on it, then we can talk about what we, what we feel about things. It's just a way of reminding myself, particularly as a council member, to remember to work with our other council members. And then, how, but how do you get things done? Well, there's a, a bit of a view that, you know, government moves about the speed of a glacier. And that's, and part of the reason for that is we're required to do things in a public process. So we can't just call someone up and start talking about it. We have to get it on the agenda. We have to come up with a, a discussion with it with our with our council. And so how do you get things on the agenda? Well, the clerk can put things on the agenda. The manager can put things on the agenda. And then the mayor actually kind of has final say of when things come to the agenda. So one way to do it would be to talk to one of those three. Um, or two council members can bring something up and and put it on the agenda and i believe the clerk may have a form for uh, bringing forth an ordinance and they're you know to just follow through some of the guidelines for what's required to do that but uh 
I think that you know the best way is to start talking to one of those key people about okay, I'm concerned about this. What has the city done anything about this, or what you know? How can we how can we work on this? And then my last point is kind of when in doubt, ask a question. You know, if it's in a meeting, get the mayor's attention and then ask a question. That's 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 the right thing to do in my mind. And if it's after meeting, you can you know call up the manager. There's you know three employees the council has and it's the clerk and the manager and the city attorney and so that is fine you can do that um, and ask questions and find out what's going on or maybe we should be thinking about going on so this has been steve carrington palmer mayor trying to take you five days into the future for our may 24th city council meeting and i'll uh, maybe leave you with a few uh, pictures from around palmer Soon, new courts made possible by Matsu Tennis Association.